Can't sleep? Pringles can. Are thou no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can you <laughs> throw yourself into a wood chip? What's up, my fellow Sigma males? <laughs> What's going on? Jack here. Oh my god. I'm cracking my knuckles. Jack here with another video. So, uh, Max Or has uploaded part 2 of the Game of the Year just behind Cat Stranding. I'm of course talking about an inaccurate summary of Elden Ring. This has taken some time and from what I saw in uh, a post from some months ago on his uh, community feed, it is called The King and the Serpent. Got it! In other words, there are multiple parts and we might just be de dealing with a few just maybe just a couple of bosses this time around which is great nonetheless because much like a lot of the um Elden Ring YouTubers, he has stumbled on a gold mine that he should definitely and utterly exploit. Now, while I do recognize that a lot of people have mentioned that his videos are a bit too fast, even on the comment section of my reactions, I'll only say that uh, epileptic warning for this one. If you are prone to having seizures, look out. But of course, please do go and watch his recent content as well as the old. Please subscribe and like his videos because this man is assembling the Avengers. And well, which begs the question, right? Uh, since the Russian Badger is meant to feature perhaps in more than just this part, he is canonically the plastic man. Oh my god. <laughs> what Avenger role will he have? Let me know in the comment section below. That said though, let us check out this video. Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Uh, oh, there the was a seizure warning. Mean, so beautiful, so tranquil. Until I showed up. Welcome back everyone <laughs> to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time. Featuring deep role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, cool math games, literature clubs, and probably a story so convoluted that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you about it. I do not know much about the lore, but I do know one thing. Melania is definitely the Blade of Mikola. That she is. Left off, we had endured great pain and suffering in our quest to destroy the cast of Percy Jackson. But <laughs> do not worry, the pain has only just begun. And if you somehow haven't seen the first part, then uh... Damn, go and watch it. I have also seen JoJo. So, with the Elden Ring shattered and scattered of America's inbred dipshits, it's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty, attempt to find a girlfriend, almost impossible, and test the true strength of my hardware. Because this will be our greatest challenge yet, and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game. As a lot of people have mentioned, Max always fusing with his hardware, and that is great. Closer to becoming a singularity. <laughs> The sound design, of course, always on point. The King and the Serpent. Last time, Got it. In copyright infringement fair use edition, we struggled to take Grandpa off his life support with violence, delivered Garfield his precious lasagna, and finally convinced Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with <laughs> nuclear fire. I'm dead serious. Wow, that was a uh, fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving at a real breakneck speed. God, I'm so happy that he did that. For those who don't realize what I'm freaking out about is check out part one. I also like the reaction that I made to that. I, I made a uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion joke on the part of the chat of all chats. But yeah, obviously this was pre-written already, but damn good you know just when i was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger it gets significantly bigger i'm not sure if the developers yeah. are okay a giant hole trapped in the same room as that man it turns out nuclear weapons are a great way to excavate the earth and there are no long-term consequences which means we've got an entirely new area to explore <laughs> giant fucking hole that he did and no we're not going to visit the blue man group again i still have the nightmares wait a second this is michigan <laughs> as soon as possible hello traveler ah it's a woman <gasps> i'm possessed of four arms and that is what tickles thy face shenpai okay i somebody left in the comment section that uh badger was to feature that got me excited 
But who else I in this? Pringles can. Are thou no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? <laughs> can you throw yourself into a wood chipper? <laughs> Listen, oh. I have never seen a Caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, go white boy, go. Okay. I shall need thy help to run my errands. May I ask why? No, I'm going through a tunnel right now. Your signal is breaking up. We are less than three minutes in. I'll quirk our white boy with this amazing drip. <laughs> Just got annihilated like that. I apologize for that. I may not have known at the time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit makes Blighttown look like a playground. Mm -hmm. Welcome everyone to the Nether Fortress. It's three rooms long and filled with naked and hostile women, which is my preferred enemy. Of course. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime, Kill the Cats. <laughs> and if that's a little too intense for you, don't worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact, yourself. Myself, me. <laughs> I am the boss of the level. Hey, what's up, guys? Maxwell here. <laughs> Maxwell facing his the worst enemy, his editing. We're out here going after Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced to fight the only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking smack down on Dark Link. This battle is a unique concept, to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, <laughs> this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally cannot damage me in this state. Not that. Did you see that? Weakling's complaining that the video is too fast. Oh, my. Cat wanted to join. No, but the work of Max Orr is similar to that of Japanese director Mikado Shinkai, better known for works like five wallpapers per second, where he instead, of course, you have five aneurysm per headache. Like, if you don't walk out with some type of symptoms after watching this video, then you're not doing it right. Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. <laughs> this boss's weakness is naked anime women, but overall, <laughs> it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined my life. Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey guys, I built an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I exterminate the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like oh. if you showed this video to a Victorian child, he would die instantly. And speaking of dying, yes, we've returned again I think to so the scare Junction. That's right, I lied to you. I give Dora the wrong directions. This area is an identical copy of the last time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemies, and the exact same boss the Canadians this time he's glowing just like this video now don't get me wrong I love beating Canadians to death but <laughs> why please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture they can spin this time around if I'm not mistaken or oh, well perhaps the fact that most people who encounter this boss tend to just kill it too fast but they roll now as for the rest of the area it's pretty nice you know <laughs> kind of short introduces the brand new sapient sphere type enemy that's yeah. okay though i too have seen steel ball run but what i really want the to do references this knife, which is a surprise tool that will help us later with this i may now cause many kitchen nightmares let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now Oh, God. Not you. Though the alternative isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarnished. Yeah, hi. I see you've come to me with LondonBinKnife.png. <laughs> so you know what it is, then. Now, oh, if Seth. If you desire a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch in her Carian call center. Only then can you rebate your purchase. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must <laughs> warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. Uh... I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just imagine... Tarnished what those four armpits must. Oh no! <laughs> Hold on! My brothers in Christ. I, I do understand that feeling the warm embrace of those four arms can be pleasurable. But how have we come from praising the sun to depicting the lolly wish as something that is so thick? I mean, for once, I learned a few weeks ago about the Clusy, which apparently I have to acknowledge. And uh, now, it's the Blue Gash. Great. Just great. No. I'm going to leave now. 
Welcome everyone to Horrors Beyond Comprehension, a land of the hands as it were. The Finky Dingy. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical artillery using my Creepy crawlers. Skill. This place, however, is anything but safe. I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply need to get through it, but you will lose a part of yourself. There are hands everywhere, in the ground, on the ceiling, and within my nightmares. Please, somebody on, uh, what's he called again? Nexus, Nexus Mode Manager. Please, somebody add in uh, uh, this sound effect of the dude on the airplane. So when they attack, like it prompts it to say the sound, I want to shake your hand. That would be such a chef kiss. They are 90% of the enemies, and the remaining 10% kind of remind me of myself in a really strange way. My name is Yoshikage Kira, I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom, and one of those implications, uh, kinda, kinda slaps, you know, like a hand. I too would kill myself if I was written by J.K. Rowling. I can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on Google because I keep getting this fucking echidna. Human knuckles just makes it worse. Now, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So after dealing with my Oni-chan and killing the only normal people for miles, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. <laughs> Loretta I've is awesome as a boss later, later on. So I'm available at this address. This fight is actually an iteration on the previous Tree Sentinel boss, so it's a really good thing that I beat him. You could say I have a lot of practice with the moveset. This time, however, we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong in the battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even turn the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or will see in five minutes. The magic earth her a really comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is a story for uh, part 19. So for now, I'm just gonna send her to a farm upstate. Part 19. Let it be known that Loretta has one of the biggest wind up in Elden Ring. Just closer to perhaps. No, god damn it, Margit is pretty quick. But she winds up quite a lot. By the way, I've played this game for uh, 130 hours and I uh, haven't slotted a spell. Now, as a full metal consequence How do you do that? Arena, we have finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the writing on this one. I just don't really care for the uh, Blythe arc where he eats the classroom. <laughs> but to get to that, we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the copy-paste key. If we can teach magic to fucking dragons and dogs, I don't even know why we try. Wait. Is that the sword that we get from Rani? I, I've always just been too busy running away from that boss to realize that he actually had a sword in his mouth. <laughs> so, my bad. Most powerful wizards can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh, he, uh, uh. Well, yeah, he, he does disappear. Gone. He has chosen peace. I guess all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School so I can finally meet the love of my life. Ah! ah. How the fuck did you do that? Do what? <laughs> she says, her long hair swaying in the Among Us Morbius Among Us sus. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. Tell you what, I'm also in the business of killing god. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join or not? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. Wonderful. Your first mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's- I mean, technically, it is accurate. The whole, uh, him being the great blasphemer and the snake theme. Sure. That's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can talk to my sleep paralysis demon. Greetings, Tarnik. Oh god, not him. It is I, Brian Dawn, from Eating of please leave Eating alone. of I'm children. Really here right now, so please god damn it, it's an answering machine. At the tone, please record your message. Finally, it's time to continue playing the game. And to get to the aforementioned volcano, we must first ascend. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Rani Senpai. Fortunately for us, <laughs> there is no elevator. Thank God, the mountain of death is wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch oh. out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm Worm not face. So we enter the absurdly large elevator, custom built and designed for the new American male, and place our keys in the ignition like a sedan. Welcome every pony bazinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic 
treehouse. I originally <laughs> meant to go to the volcano immediately, but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are yeah. two paths we can take to traverse this area. The road of proper, upright civilization, or the forest of immaculate pain. You know, I did both of them, but this one is funnier. Welcome everyone to the worm people dimension, a region totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, it's so the good. inhabitants have a special status effect called death, and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully, and uh, there's quite a few of them. My favorite example is definitely Wormface, who is called that for no reason. All of his attacks are basically instant kills. <laughs> okay, so basically, you do get a pretty cool item in this forest. The shield that is similar to um, the ones that you also get in Demon Souls, that like heals you uh, over time. So, of course, if you have the cheer su summon, just use that and just spend some time running around and re- generate some health. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're going to be sneaking into Big Shell. Right, <laughs> and you have to stop the Facebook algorithm. It's giving people pronouns. <laughs> so after navigating the Impaled Jail, or just teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find the maniac. The village people. Okay. The village people was awesome because you get to face the POC boss also known as person of carbonara he literally has the consistency of a danger noodle just don't turn around on the bridge because uh he is there so for the next part of our journey we make our way to the windmill village which is uh uh Apparently a fun time. You know, I may be a fan of older women, but this is a bit much. <laughs> These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement center. <laughs> Honestly, this area is pretty dope as long True. as you don't make them angry. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you, just like Dio and his Oh yeah. Stage. Welcome back, everyone, to the official IGN walkthrough. <laughs> and today we're going to be fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. Bruh. And to make things They wish they would. Worse, we have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist before, but thankfully, the priest was better at the game than me, so uh... That's not the last time we're going to see him, although I wish it was. <laughs> so with Friedrich Fastbear and his brother to his pizzeria, we approach the fabled gate of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the residents, we catch a glimpse of our next destination. The next destination hurts my eyes. All you have to know is that I really want to get there because I am a moth, and also this anime girl. Naturally, my first instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds outside my house. But these instincts were not correct. Also, some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. Oh, straight so up bad. Whatever that is, we need to take the side route to get in. I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish teeth. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded, most powerful enemy. Oh, of the, the anime game. villain! That's right, the copy paste key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. If he shoots lightning, it's OP. This battle is really difficult, not because the moveset is new, but because I have exhausted my horse jokes. That's to a cool soundtrack. Way, he's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different this time around, though, except for the damage. That is very new. This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticize the Chinese government. Overall, though, this boss is a very cool reskin and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using my horse, just like the Mongols. Absolutely good <laughs> game design right here. I'm very impressed. God damn on guys, I need to answer my phone. So with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. <laughs> Did he just try to Gmail Xi Jinping? <laughs> And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. A great start. Welcome everyone to Listerine, royal capital, a land that pleases the fucking eyes and ears. destroys my ears. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking <laughs> inescapable. We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level in the form of my tinnitus. Look at this shit. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit all of that. The entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I'm I swear. Under. Enter the buildings. Peruse the streets. So find pretty. new enemies and die to them. We've got a little bit of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game is Dark Souls 4, 5, and fucking 6. So I ask again, are the developers okay do they sleep so after our encounter I i'm pretty sure that they don't i, I remember him mentioning something similar in his uh, final fantasy 15 video because of some of the things that they could do in that game like some instances it would look like 
like a, a snippet of Elden Ring, and some were very terrible. But this, this has to win Game of the Year, no question. Like one thing is to having to model and sculpt and mesh all of these beautiful sceneries, making it work within the game with the mechanics, the lore, and like having all of this work together. This game needs to win. Of course, I'm still hoping that Cast Stranding gets a nomination, but. <laughs> that game is fun! With band class, we move throughout the city, becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents. And there are so many different paths that it's actually hard what to talk about. Like? You can go down the streets and die, go through the storm drain and be dragged to the depths of hell where the Catholics go. Or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm. I hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience. Just don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men. Seriously, this is oh. an entire dungeon in and of itself, and it's more complicated the horny people? than a woman. I Quite want literally. to Mr. Miyazaki's wild ride. Please let me see my family. But that is a story for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him later, probably Milk. after he stops dealing with me. So once I finish up preening the garden and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing <laughs> railings because I am stupid. And also this anime. Speaking of which, here's the uh, next boss. He just kind of appears there. Gotta fight Casper the unfriendly piss. Now I could get into this the boss. The actual stand user. Inside, experience fresh air, but he is up uh, very phoned in, and we're going to get quite familiar with him later. And also, he up uh, has a stand, so that's how you know he's gay. Hold, hold on, Maxor. I, I need to call you out on this one. How come you dare say such a thing? Jojo, as being a stand user, is gay. How do you think that two males trying to get each other off an entanglement and Doing so while busting its sexual style is possibly gay. It has to be the most straight thing in the world. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge against that guy. After all, he made the British Isles, and some crimes cannot be forgiven. Some people have asked me to react to that video. Uh, I will do that. Isn't my old friend. The tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks no paper. How are you alive exactly? How are you still single? <gasps> oh my god, the destruction of this man. I called the demigods family, but that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. What the fuck is wrong with you? Cancel culture strikes again. <laughs> Ah, oh, the boss oh with the God, best like move sets. Like really fucking good. I just didn't sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up white boy do be busting it down sexual style, and his secret is methamphetamine. This shit is fast, very, very fast, faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for Phase Two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yes, I can make his weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely. Not just the damage, although there is a lot of that, but yeah. just how many fucking moves this man has, and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls bosses were just in a beast <laughs> man, we were so young, but this does beg the question, why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was he getting his groceries? Did he <laughs> use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also hate me, so to come out on top, we've got to remain quiet. Quick, race the inside of our asshole and verify our I mean, online sources with correct documentation because this is the hardest boss so far and the easiest boss for the rest nobody of the loves him so and his we're brother delivering pizza or attempting deicide Morgoth will bring you the Home Depot experience whether you're ready or not and the answer is usually not Ooh. Jesus fucking Christ What is this soundtrack? It's like freaking Steve Aoki gave himself a lap dance and decided to re remix the intro of Ghost in the Shell. It's good! That fight was the fucking bomb. 
That was a sweet edit. It was a hard-fought battle, but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to make well, God Well, it wasn't made by All Jesus. All have to do is go through the, um... <laughs> oh, this probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh, well, time to go. <laughs> not you! My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. Oh. So, uh... I actually think that the two fingers, in reality, were like two... Like, were like chickens. Because you can find a tree finger that, that exists within the game. But two fingers were like chickens doing the... thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No oh. reason in particular. Now, don't worry about him. He's uh doing stretches for the next five thousand years. What? Anyways, you need to uh burn the tree. Excuse me. You need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scared. <laughs> the pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me. <laughs> The Chinese. Welcome everyone to the Mountain of Agony, both in the lore and in gameplay, but mostly gameplay. Home of the fifth demigod, Satan, literally just Satan, <laughs> Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to commit blasphemy in peace. Just one problem, the we gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is, uh... Please, MG, MG soundtrack. Yes! A little bit linear. I call it the Habsburg <laughs> family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite oh. part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me, but I don't know what it is. SCP now, looking wrong, ass. There's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of special. Just gotta take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It <laughs> Kami feels like every birds, yeah. collaborated to make this one. We've got people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. We even get to see the um, the handyman himself. He's getting really out of hand this time. Oh you could God, say that stop. I have my hands full. This is hands down the stupidest joke in the video. So after climbing a little bit, you know, three ladders in a row, we gaze over a cliff whereupon Patches just breaks my fucking skeleton. Guess I have to climb all the way back up. That's why you kill him. He's been doing that consistently for four games. You can let him live. The top of the mountain is really fun though, especially when my computer decides to work. It's like Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess though. So after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But at that size, it's more like a volcano gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into, starting with the um, Red. You know, like all the flags this is giving me. <laughs> I feel like I'm inside of a gaming PC. Maybe this no. one can give us more info. Hello, Tarnish, and welcome to the Red Manor. He did it! Our boy did it! He got his favorite. <laughs> Congratulations, Maxor. You're good on this one. Feeling creative today, aren't we? I am the virtual YouTuber of this mansion, Tanith, and this is Gug. Gug. Gug is in pain. <laughs> aren't we all? Anyways, can I interest you in joining the forces of Satan? <laughs> we offer coupons. For what exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes Tesco. Well, you know what? <laughs> I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You kill. What? We crave innocent blood, traveler, and I expect a sufficient donation. After all, you are what you eat. And I am a child at heart. I think I chose the wrong voice actor. Hail Satan! Well, I guess since I serve Satan now, my outfit needs to get a little edgier, and my weapons need to become a little veggier. Potatoes aren't the only things that these can peel. I'm and not as a special. <laughs> to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. It is surprisingly <laughs> nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, <laughs> half my fellow demons have scoliosis. <laughs> yep. So, uh, let's just collect our first target. You know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study <laughs> to. <laughs> Of course, montage music. Best. I 
I felt so bad for killing some of these people. Just kidding, I don't think. Oh shit, wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. You have proven yourself my finest sin. My sins are unforgivable. <laughs> you get to meet Satan now. No, oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Oh no. <laughs> it's true though. I mean, the, the, the Senna's there to challenge him whilst already having made a weapon to kill the guy, which they failed to do. But that's basically what he wants to do. Like, we've accumulated so much power and he just wants to ascend to ultra godhood, I guess. Can I leave now? Have fun! Uh, hi there, Satan. Did you fall from heaven? <laughs> I don't think he liked that one. <laughs> Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be trapped in, um, hell. It's literally hell. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins, don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I get to meet all of my favorite heroes, such as Ronald Reagan, and oh. also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell, each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now as for me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment <laughs> is continuing to make this video. It is four in the morning. Now the first thing you see in this level, and I mean the first thing, is an anger direction. This tells us that we're in the circle of Lust, where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of us. Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I sure do love, love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact video very soon. I just gotta turn this corner and, uh. Why is he just Surprise. standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me uh, anytime later. Oh my god, it's him, the Caprese Demon. Now, for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we find ourselves in the Circle of Gluttony, because the residents... Why is he clouding on the southern part of the world like this? It's a bit, uh, a bit sluggish. I know, very funny stuff. <laughs> it's time for some fun volcano facts with Maxor. Did you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping? Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the lava is more of a suggestion. It's optional. Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh uh -huh. boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So after we're finished navigating... This is quite topical, with all the fires and the literal UPS workers falling down nearly to their deaths in Arizona. But yeah, it's uh, accurate. <laughs> Getting the um kinky neighborhood, we head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. <laughs> Their Sisyphean punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail, delete every other website, you have to fuck and suck on Gmail. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I'll be attending mass to steal yeah. wine. Hey guys, welcome back to my 600 pound death. And oh. in today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted jiggle physics. I think this boss may have had a few too many, uh, communion wafers. How many of those do you have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body, broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute girth of this man might make you think we're in for a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that, and that just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And just like last time, his second phase is is absolute body horror. Genuinely just the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Please it's consult your doctor place. before engaging in any Nico Kato maxing. I think that, uh, I think I'm gonna be here for a few more minutes. But finally, the bloated design. Body positivity. No, <laughs> body negativity. Also, holy shit, this music goes hard. This is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the inside of a Walmart. I think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin. Come on, do it. Give me your skin. If you aren't comfortable in your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially shot Biggie Biggs, we can no. finally grab the arm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the innermost membrane that encloses the embryo of mammal. Yeah, the description of the item itself says it like it's what is what's supposed to be an infant. Blah! And continue on our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right, we're finally here, the heart of the beast, home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, <laughs> Washington. Also, uh, <laughs> more ladders. But honestly, it's a bit, uh, 
easy to get lost in here. <laughs> Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about, besides the, uh... Oh. The Egged One, just your standard committee of child skinners. So, we're just gonna teleport. Should have done that to the, the get-go. Which is the actual way you do it, because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel my... Oh, wait Do a music. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Doom Internalizing My Abuse, and today we're going to be fighting the uh... We're going to be uh... Oh. <laughs> we're going to Google how to kill him, because as it turns out, the, the weapon at the entrance of some heavy ordinance, of which I am an expert. The Serpent Hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit, a weapon of mass destruction yeah. specifically built to kill just snakes. It's literally you know, a like fate a weapon. Bird. It's also uh, three feet from the entrance. Noble like phantasm. A dog bound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just went from Storm Ruler to Storm Meter Stick. This fight <laughs> is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is so satisfying to use this weapon, and the damage is absolutely biblical. My favorite part was when Cain beat his brother to death with a rock. The only drawback is that you are too strong, and dodging him is a little easy because the snake will signal every attack by pogging. But if I had to choose a boss to be easy, this one is pretty fucking up there. And trust me, I know about fucking up. But just ask the war crime trials. I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war. I only kill people like you, tomorrow. But <laughs> as for this boss, his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun, of which there is plenty. I think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. Plus, I am always down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. No. Oh, Jesus, aren't you dramatic? Just you wait. Now, who's playing the snake? Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15, Praetor Rikard. It appears that you are trying to cut off my pet snake, so in return, I will now cut off yours. The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the Serpent King as family. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Oh, oh. my fucking god. It's finally him. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death. And today we're going to be fighting the human centipede along with everyone he's ever consumed. That's right, this entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. It's a literal mukbang. the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you want to get eating, first you have to get eaten, buy an immortal snake, and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. Now as for the gameplay, it's um, a little intense. You know, kind of spooky. Kind of makes me cry. Because this boss, on top of his normal moveset, can use every snake attack, just like Metal Gear Solid. But that isn't even the dangerous part. That happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the loudest possible volume, and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess hell is oh, just yeah. built on a missile system. I could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now. The best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant, but in a good way, unlike playing Valorant. Even still, this battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, and of course the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, God damn, it doesn't deliver. It was a pretty good fight. Max, if you get into we're making, uh, I guess we'll call it GMVs, game music videos. Man, you two are a match made in hell. That was dope. Hey, so, uh, I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? Yeah, so, uh, where did she go? Go. Oh. Ah, uh, she's, she's eating a husband. The father of her child. This was so good. Oh my god. Look, this, this had everything in place right the memes were fast no doubt of that but it's good that's how it's supposed to be and 
at the same time, what, what impressed me the most actually was how everything was leveled well in terms of sound. I know that I'm going after the critical stuff here uh, of like uh, in terms of editing, but it's so well done. And that's something that you don't get to see so often. Like, it, it feels like, you, you know that time, for those of you who may have encountered the other type of game that gives you an aneurysm, but in the bad way, a League of Legends, when they became more of a music company and less of a games company? Yeah, that, that's kind of how I felt here, because, like, the audio engineering is always on point, and that's the same thing here. Like, I could understand everything, despite, of course, the speed at which the means were given. Uh, it, this was an amazing uh, project and I just hope to see a lot more and this is the kind of thing that really inspired me to edit my stuff extra. <laughs> I know it's just a reaction but still uh, it should be entertaining in a way, right? Like that, that's what we love about these types of reviews or inaccurate summaries but guys thank you so much for checking out this video as always go and subscribe to max if you haven't already if you like this video hit the like and or dislike i like some fair criticism uh well you, you can't see the dislike anyways <laughs> but nevertheless though i wish you all to have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one